I think this question is hard. The first time I ever did it, I had trouble with it because the logic of the passage is difficult to follow. Let's take a look. While recent scholarship has undermined claims that the works of 12th century Islamic philosopher Ibn Rushd were blank, other Muslim philosophers of his time. Okay, so already I'm confused because the blank takes out some piece that makes me understand the sentence, but undermined, okay, there's some sort of comparison. Uh, da, da, da. It is indisputable that his location in the Muslim ruled area of what is now Spain meant that his works were primarily available thousands of miles west of the era's center of Islamic thought. Okay, so he's, his location matters, right? So he's thousands of miles away from something important, right? Plus, if we want to throw another kind of transitioning word in here, while, so what would you put in this blank? I have no idea, right? I have no idea what goes in here just based on what I'm reading. A lot of times you can kind of fill in the blank, just understand the logic of what's going on. I got no clue. So let's, we got to try the choices. So controversial among, okay. So while recent scholarship undermined claims that this guy uh, that uh, his works were controversial among Muslim philosophers of its time. Okay, so we're undermining the idea that it's controversial. So meaning that his works are not controversial, right? So I'm not even writing a definition here. I'm, I'm trying to understand the logic. So even though his works were not controversial, it's indisputable that his location was far away from where it mattered. I have no idea what's going on, right? Like I, that doesn't make any sense to me. Why does his, why does the controversy have anything to do with it? At this point, I would just be like, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. So maybe it's right. And I just don't understand the passage. Maybe it's wrong. And that's why it doesn't make sense. I don't know. Let's keep moving. Uh, so again, while recent scholarship undermined that his works were antagonistic toward other philosophers, it's indisputable that his location uh, is thousands of miles away from the center. So antagonistic means, um, like, uh, uh, hateful toward, or kind of just like in general, like opposing. If you're an antagonist, you, you fight against something or someone. Um, think about like in a novel, you probably have heard of a, a protagonist. That's like the main character. The antagonist is kind of like the villain. Okay. So I don't know. Uh, here's my issue with this one. And maybe this is now getting to why A doesn't make a lot of sense is if, if there, he's controversial or antagonistic, then I would want more evidence that there's some sort of disagreement between these two groups of philosophers, right? Between Ibn Rushd and all the other people that are far away. Does it say that they disagree? I, I don't, it says they live in different places. What, what does it do with disagreement? I don't know. So right now, it's not so much that the connotation is wrong because like there is some sort of contrast but like, I, I just, why don't they like each other? So I, I'm missing this concept of like hate or disagreement. It doesn't seem to be anywhere else in the passage. So that's not a good sign because remember these blanks are not being filled randomly. We have to fill them with evidence. You know, there's some evidence that, that proves that that word is going to be the, the right answer. So imitated obviously is going the other direction right here. This is now saying that they're copying him. So, so it, it's been undermined that this guy's works were imitated by other Muslim philosophers. So they're not copied by them. It is still, though, indisputable that they are, he's far away. So, okay. In my mind, what that would be saying is that it used to be believed that other people copied him which would make sense if they lived in a normal area, but they're kind of saying at the end that they're far away from each other. So why would we think that they would copy him if they live far away, right? Like how would they even know that this guy exists? That seems to be the point of the end, right? Is that like the location matters. And if he's thousands of miles away, then why would they be imitating him? How would they even know that he exists? So you see, there's there's something weird about this. Let's look at D. Uh, while recent scholarship has undermined claims that the works of 12th century Islamic philosopher Ibn Rush were inconsequential to other Muslim philosophers of his time. So the, the first bit here would be like, it is consequential. So Rushed matters, but it's indisputable that 
he is not located near them, right? So, so what they're saying is, and this is now I kind of get it, right? So it, it's saying that he did matter, but he was far away, right? So what they previously thought, so basically D is the answer here. What they previously thought, right? It has now been undermined, right? They previously thought that this guy who lives thousands of miles away from all the other Muslim scholars, that he was inconsequential, right? He's off on his own little island in Spain, basically, right? He's off on his own his own world. And so obviously then, if he's in Spain and they're in, you know, uh, I guess that doesn't say, but Baghdad, let's say, right? Then far away, maybe guy in Spain is inconsequential to the guys in Baghdad, too far, right? For the Middle Ages, for them to talk. But that's been undermined, right? He's not inconsequential. So he is important, but it's still indisputable that he lived far away. That's what they're saying, right? It's bizarre. I do not think this is obvious. I've obviously taken a long time just to try to explain to you how to get there. You would need to do this much faster during the test. Um, my advice is to just, you got to plug them in and try to think about what's going on. But notice all the, the weird logic pieces to this question, right? There's a lot of like double negatives almost and different ways that they're trying to kind of confuse even what the relationship between these two sentence parts is. But there is kind of a clear break in the sentence where that comma is. So we can maybe try to rearrange it as well. I was trying to do that a little bit while I was explaining, right? Um, it's basically saying that even though Rushed lived far away, he was not inconsequential to these other people, right? So I'm even using a double negative in there, right? So even though he's far away, he still is consequential, right? So I think the best way to understand these answer choices is to, uh, to recognize that we are undermining the blank. So we do want to kind of flip it to try to understand the logic of the sentence better. This is a very difficult question. If you are confused, do not worry about it. There are not going to be many like this. But notice, it's not really about the vocab words themselves, right? With most of them, maybe with the exception of antagonistic, are words that are pretty common in English. So it's not about understanding those meanings. It's about understanding the meaning of the passage. And you can probably notice that just as you're reading it and try your best to kind of cut out things to understand how the double negatives might work and interact with each other, change stuff to make it more understandable, basically kind of rewrite the sentence if you can in a way that makes the logic understandable to you. Just be careful that you don't omit something that that is really important. Um, hopefully I give you something to work on with this really hard question, but if not, again, it's hard. It's unlikely that you'll see something exactly like this again. What you will see, though, is at least one or two really hard, logic-y vocab questions per test. Just do the best you can and make sure you don't spend too much time on them because you want to get to that grammar, transitions, and outlines at the end of the section.